Hello, what's up you guys? A week before we created a drop down and today we'll be creating a drop down menu. As you can see right here, it's pretty nice and smooth. We decided to make this tutorial because you're gonna face a lot of problem while creating a drop down menu. So now let's get started. As you can see right here, we have the main default CSS and another CSS that for font icon. As you can see right here, we've already removed the markup and what all we need to do is, is to reload to get started. As you can see right here, it's gone. Now, let's write the HTML. Now we'll be adding a class dropdown to the li where we want to have a dropdown. And in our case, it's the menu here. And after adding a class dropdown, we'll be creating an unordered list with class dropdown content as it will be containing uh, our links that will be visible on hover because it's a hover dropdown and it will be hidden by default and now it's time to add some links into it with an anchor tag and we're skipping the herif attribute here because we really don't need it and either HTML5 will not care and now we'll copy it and check the output. Copy paste. One, two, three, four. Now let's check the output. As you can see right here, we've got the drop down menu working, but we are still missing that arrow. It's an artful part, but looks also matter. That's why we're going to use font awesome icons here. And we'll simply add the span class fa. Fa angle down and then we'll have that arrow and we're done let's give it a try as you can see right here it's really nice and smooth now we'll be moving your CSS for the rest of our work see you there Hey guys, now it's time for CSS, my personal favorite part, as you can see right here. We removed most of the CSS and now let's reload to see what happens. As you can see, it's right there. It's looking nice, but it's not drop down at all. So now let's move to the CSS and make it even beautiful. That Mona Lisa also get jealous of it. Really, I want to make Mona Lisa jealous. First of all, what all we need to do is, is to hide the drop-down content. And for that, we cannot simply set it to visibility hidden because it will take some space. That's why we'll set it to display none, which would totally eliminate it. Now let's reload. As you can see right here, we have a clear cut bar there. Now we have to make it visible on hover. And for that, we'll need to go back up to the main drop-down class because whenever someone will hover the drop-down, it will make the drop down content visible and that's what we're doing right here and to make it visible we have to set it back to display block block that's really important and now as you can see right here it gets visible whenever we hover it okay you can see the drop down content is covering the full width and that is a good thing for a drop down that's why we have to set position absolute. But when we set position absolute, it will get out of the parent's control. And that's why to keep the child in control, we have to set drop down to position relative. It's really important. And it's done. Now let's reload. As you can see right here, it's, it's on the same place but it looks way more skinnier than me that's why we will set min width to it so that it'll get a bit nicer looks it's all up to you if you don't set it it's all up to you but better you set it it will look nice and a background that is the same color of the hover of the main anchor elements and that's why we're done as you can see right here, but another problem occurs that it is not of same color of drop down. The hover goes. And for that, what we need to do is, is to set the background color of drop down on hover. 
and which will be same as of that. That's why we're going to set it. As you can see right there, we have it. And now we're done. As you can see right there, it's covering same to same color. Looking nice. Very nice. Now we have to set another hover color because it's not looking nice. And that hover color is of the anchor elements that are inside the drop down content. We'll set it a bit more darker so that it look nice. It's all up to you what colors you prefer and matches your project. Yeah. Let's do it. And we're setting it to something darker. And now we're done. As you can see right here, it's working really nice and pretty smooth. But I think Mona Lisa is getting jealous of it. But did you notice the, all those anchor elements are full width? Think of it. What we did is we already set them to display block. So that they cover full width and we can enable padding and all other block level properties and finally if you think mona lisa is jealous please let me know in the comments below and also let me know what would you like to see for next week and finally let's move out but before that try watching our previous tutorial and some others are on the right side of the screen too make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe us for more like us and follow us on twitter facebook google plus and also don't forget to join our facebook group Bye. See ya.